Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. Disciple of Christ here, Brother Paul, Doc. Um, just coming out to you again. It's been a little bit since I put out a video. And uh, again, I know I'm sorry. I'm coming after you, Hebrew Israelites, because you're deceiving many and leading them down a path of darkness. And you might say, well, why am I attacking them and not other groups? Well, because I was deceived by this false doctrine for over 10 years. So um, I can speak on what I know and hopefully set other people free. That's my mission now. This is why the Most High allowed me to go through that so I could learn about this evil tactic of Satan and now hopefully deliver those with ears to hear and eyes to see from this deception. Um, so today I'm gonna talk about I've heard various Hebrew leaders talk about how in the Bible, you know, when, when Christ talks about loving your neighbor, he's not talking about everybody. He's just talking about Israel. It's all about Israel. It's only Israel. Well, let's see what Christ says. Uh, if you know the parable of the Good Samaritan, we're going to go to Luke chapter 10, starting at verse 25. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law, and how readest thou? And he said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. Then he said unto them, Thou hast answered right. Uh, this do, and thou shalt live. But he, willing to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus answered, saying, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by the, on the other side. And likewise a Levite, <clears throat> when he was at the place came and looked on him and passed by on the other side so here's two Israelites the highest among the Israelites a priest and a Levite those who do the work of Yahweh in the temple and they left this man who was left for dead beaten on the ground wounded robbed they couldn't care less they kept going that that's how great the Israelites are um, not to boast against them but you look at their history and despite having the Most High in their lives, they are often were worse than the Gentiles who didn't know Yahweh. Um, okay, so, but a certain Samaritan, one of another nation, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him. And he went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and sent him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him and on the morrow when he departed he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him take care of him and whatsoever thou spendest more when I come again I will repay thee which now of these thinkest you was a neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves and he said he that showed mercy on him then Jesus said unto him, Go and do likewise. So you Israelites who have hardened your hearts, who, who actually try to prevent the nations from coming in and knowing Elohim, knowing the Creator, you better repent and do as Christ said. You're supposed to be priests to the nations. And forget this garbage about trying to make everyone in the Bible who wasn't an Israelite an Israelite. Because the word speaks against you, history speaks against you, archaeology speaks against you. I've already debunked so many of your lies. If you were standing on truth, you wouldn't have to lie about who you are. So anyway, you know, and you might argue, well, the Samaritans, they were also Israelites because they were from the northern tribes. Well, originally, this was true when the kingdom was divided. But remember, when the Assyrians came in, they took the Israelites away in captivity and brought transplants in. They bought, pre brought people of other nations to occupy the land. And at the time of Christ, the Samaritans were not on friendly terms with the Israelites. They were considered enemies. So there you go again. 
More of your lies debunked and destroyed. Praise Yah and His Holy Spirit for revealing it and for His Word that guides us. So, you can claim to be Israel, but if you leave people by the wayside, especially your own brethren, then obviously this Samaritan who has love in his heart, they're going to surpass you in the kingdom because they do the will of the Father. So they are brothers and sisters and mothers to Christ. Not because of bloodline, because of your heart condition, because of the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of you. So again, I'm praying for you. I'm coming to you out of love because I don't want to see you destroyed. Now again, many of you may come as you always do because you have a wicked heart. All you do is mock and jeer and threaten and call me names like Esau and Edomite. I don't give a damn. I walk in Yah's power. I walk in his Holy Spirit. Nothing you say can deter me. And the power speaks. You know, it was a great man who once said, those with the opinion is at the mercy of those with the experience. I walk in his power. So nothing you can say to me means anything to me if you're not speaking from truth and from Christ. So come out of the deception. Come out of the crap. Come out of your hurt feelings. What happened to your people is terrible. But going around, especially using the Most High's name to crap all over other people and treat them badly when they aren't even the ones who treated you the way that your ancestors were treated. You know, you got to be just. Yahweh's just and righteous. Anyway, and again, to this demons operating in you. Another lie destroyed. The kingdom's coming. The king is coming. Seek ye first the kingdom of Yah, and all other things will be added unto you. Shalom. Blessings. This is Brother Paul, disciple of Christ. Oh, look when the sun came. Perfect timing. Praise Yah. Shalom.